Hello, welcome to the second video of my free Node.js course. In this video, I will talk about installing Node.js. I will explain the difference between the current and the LTS releases and show how to use multiple versions of Node.js on your machine. I opened the Node.js website and on the homepage we see the downloads section. We are offered to install either the LTS version, LTS stands for long-term support, or the current version, the one that includes the latest features but it's not ready for production. Each new major version of Node.js, for example 14, 15, 16, etc., receives the release status called current. It has this status for 6 months, and after 6 months, if the version number is odd, like for example 11, 13, 15, etc., it becomes unsupported. If the version number is even, it receives the active LTS status and becomes ready for general use. LTS status means that the critical bugs will be fixed for a period of 30 months. Here we can open the page that includes detailed information about the Node.js release statuses. And it includes the maintenance schedule for the recent Node.js versions. The LTS period has two parts, active LTS and maintenance LTS. Let's look at an example of a Node.js version lifetime. Here we have version 16. 16 is even. At the moment it has the status current and it received the status on April 20, 2021, which is its initial release. Then version 16 will receive the status active LTS on October 26, 2021. Then in a year it will receive the status maintenance LTS on October 18, 2022, and it will reach its end of life on April 30, 2024. So for production applications you should use a long-term support version because it has been tested for a while, while it's been in the current status for 6 months, and various bugs were fixed, and Node.js library authors had quite some time to add support for this version to their libraries. So for practicing I would use the current version to be able to check various new features, but for production applications I would definitely recommend using the LTS version. So in order to install Node.js, you should pick one of the versions, download the installer and simply run it. Then follow the instructions. This will install Node.js binary and npm. Also, the installers are available only for Windows and Mac OS. So for another operating system like, for example, Linux, you can either download the binaries or build Node.js from the source code. And actually there are other ways and you can check these ways here in the bottom of this page. So let's say you have installed Node.js already. Now let's open the terminal window and first type node-v and then npm-v. If they both respond with their version numbers, then we can be sure that these commands are available in our operating system. Having installed Node.js like this, you will only be able to use a single version of Node.js in your operating system. That's fine for practicing Node.js. However, when you will start working on many different Node.js projects, you will quite probably need to be able to run those projects using different versions of Node.js. For example, you might work on an old project that relies on Node.js version 10 and it hasn't been tested on new versions and there is another project that you have that uses the features that are available only since Node.js version 14. So when working on one of these projects, you will have to use the corresponding Node.js version. And reinstalling Node.js manually every time you need to switch between versions is not practical. Luckily, there is a tool that can help us with switching Node.js versions easily. It's called Node Version Manager, NVM. Let's open the NVM documentation. Here it is. It's in the readme file of the NVM repository, here. Let's go to the about page. So NVM is a version manager for Node.js. Basically, it's a tool that allows us to install and use different versions of Node.js via the command line. NVM works on any POSIX compliant shell like SH, Dash, KSH, ZSH, Bash, in particular on these platforms, 
Unix, Mac OS and Windows WSL. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Also there are alternatives specifically for Windows, they have it listed here. All of these alternatives are not uh, supported or developed by the NVM team. And these are NVM Windows, Nodist and NVS. Now let's check how to install NVM. Let's go to the table of contents. Here we are. Let's open installing and updating page. And basically to both install and update uh, NVM, you can use the same script. Here it is. So I will copy this command. Uh, so this command downloads the script, the installation script from the NVM repository, and then runs it using the bash shell. I will open the terminal and paste this command here, then run it. And here we go. Please check the instructions that this script outputs. There can be things that you have to do manually. Now, after the installation, to be able to access NVM uh, here, in the command line, like this, you have to close and reopen your terminal or paste this code into the command line. Now let's briefly have a look at how to use NVM. First of all, let's install the latest version of Node using the NVM install command. Node. This downloads and installs the latest version. Right now it's 16.11.0. I already tried installing it, so it used the archive that already that is already available in the cache. Otherwise, it will go and download this archive over the network. So basically, it downloads and installs the latest release and also sets it, points the Node.js command to this release. So if I run Node-V, I can see that right now my Node command points to the version 16.11 binary. Also, we can use NVM install to install a specific version. For example, let's install the current LTS version, which is 14.18. Here we go. Again, I already tried installing this version when I was rehearsing this video. Let's try to install another one like 12. Okay, now downloaded the archive from the Node.js website, installed it and pointed the Node command in my shell to a version 12. So now if I type Node V, I'll get version 12 here. I can switch versions using the NVM use command like this. So I can switch back to the latest version, typing NVM use Node. Node is the alias for the latest version. Here we go, now I'm using 16. Also we can switch back to the system version of Node.js, this is the one I installed uh, using the official installer. So we can switch by typing nvm use system. System is also an alias. Here we go, now I'm using version 15. We can list all the versions we have installed like this, nvm ls. And we can list the versions that are available remotely, typing nvm ls remote. I'll stop this, as this list gets quite long. Also, I can pick the version of node nvm will set by default. This is the version that is going to be used by default whenever you open a new terminal window. To set this version, I use the command nvm alias, like this nvm alias, and I alias default to node, and node is the latest version of node.js. Now whenever I will open a new terminal window, node will point to this version, to, no, to version uh, 16. NVM alias does not point the node command to the alias it creates or updates, like NVM install does. So the current node version is still system. And I can switch node in this terminal window to the default version using the NVM use command again. Because default is an alias, like this. 
And here we go, node 16, 11, 0. Basically, this was a brief introduction into what a node version manager can do. There are even more features. Please check the documentation for more information. If you have Windows, you can either use NVM for Windows WSL or one of the NVMs alternatives that I have mentioned earlier. Now we have reached the end of this video. I have shown how to install Node.js using the Node.js uh, installer. And I have shown how to install different versions of Node on your system and switch between them using the Node version manager. Thanks for watching it and have a nice day.